Hi everyone and welcome back to Your Best You. I'm Reverend Dr. Kathleen Fennedy, your host. And I'm Joan Kesmarsic, your co-host. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I got Joan introducing herself now, isn't that great? I so, like it. Thank you know, you. yeah, you know, you know, all things new, right? Exactly. Keep it new and, and keep nice. it fresh and keep it nice and new and so here we are, uh, you know, I, I, I'm thinking, gosh, I'm thinking right now, it's probably um, February when it's being broadcast on the uh, programming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe getting around Valentine's Day. But here, actually, we're in December. It's not really even uh, Christmas yet. So um, this is a continuation of the... Uh, of this previous show, which I did chakra seven, and we're calling it seven one one part two. Okay. And uh, we talked about the crown chakra and just about the, the crown. And I had a hat on, and there was something I wanted to say about that, and I forgot to say it, but I'm going to say it now. Um, some people who do know me know that um, I like to sleep in a hat, and uh, the reason why I like to sleep in a hat is because I like my crown chakra protected at night okay. uh, because that's my portal and so you know I like to wear a, you know a kind of a little cap and I like to wear a cap a lot I like to protect my crown chakra a lot as you've noticed yes I, yes I have I'm very protective of my crown yeah she wears a hat a lot of the time yeah. I, I just don't like it out exposed to all the energies um, because you know it ends up um, picking up energies and you know, I'm like, I don't want to be picking up all these energies. And so at night when I'm sleeping, Ruby, you got yourself so wrapped up in here. Ruby's here, but he's all wrapped up behind me. My goodness gracious, little man. <laughs> he's so tiny. So yeah, I like to uh, cover my head at night. But I mean, I just never can understand how people could go out in the winter time without a hat or covering on their ears and stuff. All those portals, yeah, open and exposed. And, so, I'm, and I'm guilty of that because I I love see for me I love feeling. Well, you don't like hat hair. Well, yeah, especially with and I don't hair, care about hat hair. Yeah, but I also like the feeling of the cold the cold air. On my face and the wind in my hair and then on me. Yeah. But that's just something that's that's me. Yeah. That I yeah, and we're all so individual. Very much so, very, very much so, very individual. Yeah. And then, you know, they say, like, uh, if you look at some of the ancient charts, the body parts and the association with planets and alignments, you know, like, uh, you know, if you're a Pisces, it's your feet, you're an Aquarius, what is your body part? She probably doesn't know. I, I just realized it. Do you know it? I believe they say it's your, it's your, your legs. Your, um, well, what yes. part of your leg? Your calf? Yeah. Your, your calf. So, you know, um, Easy knowing those little aspects, crystals, crystals, what you doing? Easy <laughs> knowing those little aspects, okay, she can have that. That's okay. She'd be happy with that. You know, come up with your uh, astrologies and... So with your astrologies, you can bring them up. She has oh, plus that I'm an air sign, so maybe that has something to do with it. Right. But I like the... Well, it's different, different body parts. We have, you know, the huskies in the house. So I let her be here today. She wants to act up a little bit. It's okay with me. Okay, so I'm talking about chakra one. And uh, would you like to go out? No? And I'm talking about chakra one right now. In chakra one, I said, okay, boots, 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 feet. Because chakra seven, I said hats, right? Mm -hmm. And so our feet, it's the base of our body, you know, um, oftentimes depicted at right at the end of the sacrum, right at the base of the body. You know, these are the portals that we have, right? From the crown, cranial, what a suture, what did I call it? Yeah, cranial suture. That's that line. And to the 
little fontanelles of the occipital ridge area, if you look at the sacrum, it almost looks like a replica. Mm. It's got the two little open holes in the back there too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then that bone structure and all the nervous system, which speaks and transmits all of the messages, voluntary, involuntary. Mm -hmm. That's why if something happens to your back, it's not cool. Yeah. That's true. So the back and the base, and that's why the feet are so important because your feet stabilize your sacrum, which stabilizes your back, which allows all the messaging to get where it to needs get to where it needs to be. So, um, what we wear on our feet is really important, and I've talked about grounding mm -hmm. in other videos many times about you know. Uh, you know, having your feet barefoot and walking on the earth. And then, you know, you'll read something. Watch out for worms. Remember, don't walk barefoot outside. But even, even if you, like, when I'm on my way up to the office, there are certain areas that have grass. Right. And what I like to do is on the way into the office, get off the asphalt and walk across that ground right. before I go in. Well, a lot of people like to do that, and then the yard people get upset because, you know, people have walked on the grass. But there is a different feeling underneath the foot, yes, would there you is. say? Absolutely. Yes. And it helps me feel better as I enter. Right. You know, as I go into the, into the building and to do what I need to do. Yeah, look up and look down, yeah. right? Look up yeah. to the heavens and the sky yeah. and see the sun and the moon and all that. Yeah. And then the earth, which is what supports and holds us. Yep. Okay, it so. just, but there is a very different, different feeling when you walk across that as opposed to walking on the pavement. Oh, well, ask very anyone who so. plays uh, tennis and they know, sure. play court versus paved court or yep. anything. You know, yep. you know that even with the horses, yep. they stopped them being in the city because they were on the pavement and, right. you know, that's hard on a, on yeah. a horse. Well, you, you know? that's a, even with, with sled dogs, you can't run them on pavement. No, I mean, it just seems that, you know, so pavement is something that we've, you know, come through time when we built all of our roads and our ways, but yeah. boots, boots, boots. So I boots. thought, well, I want to go look it up. You know, call me cat, right? Just call me Reverend Doctor. Just call her what she all doing, what she always does. Revisiting our roots, I thought. Revisiting our boots. Yeah. Our boots. Our boots. Our boots are made for walking. But when did boots start to show up? I, I wanted to know. You know, inquiring minds want to know. Right. So I looked it up, and apparently, in the cave paintings in Spain, showed boots, and that dated between 12,000 and 15,000 BCE. Okay, that's before the Common Era. You know, you have before B.C., you have B.C., which we call before Christ, right? And then A.D., which is after death. And then in between here, we have B.C., E.C.E., before the Common Era and Common Era. It's how time was measured in that capsule of time between um, before Christ so and, and after the death of Christ. So we have time, you know, timelines yeah. in our history. And we can forecast events and future events based on timelines in our history, often associated with a lot of astrological alignments and things that are happening. Mm -hmm. And people who have had the time to study this categorized it and categorized it and written about it and yeah. set it up. And then we have this, and then we, we don't seem to heed it. Yeah. Because we don't think it's relevant. relevant. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not going to happen now. And right. It's not going to happen in this time. Right. This isn't going to happen. And yet it does. Yep. As I said, it's going to happen in a new way. But it, it, we're going to revisit it as a, as a race, uh, as, a, as a human evolving, or, a, a, or anything that's evolving. As I said, a virus is going to evolve. It's going to evolve when it's hit with something that says, 
You are a roach. I'm going to kill you. Black flag roach says, ha 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 ha. I'm going to uh, mutate myself and your black flag isn't going to bother me, right? Roaches have mutated through time. You know, <laughs> and why, why, why? At what point in our, in our development do we go, oh no, you know, um, I'm leaning forward because my camera is obviously slipping Oops. a little bit. Okay. Or or this chair, you know, camera wise. So don't mind. You don't have to lean in because okay. you're probably doing I'm okay. pretty good. But I'm leaning in because I was getting yep. flipped. That's okay. And I don't mind leaning a little bit. No. I'll do the thinker position. <laughs> Often found in this home to mush in my house space. No. But, you know. Um, yeah, it's part of our development, you yes. know, and, and I think that uh, there's a lot of, there are a lot of people that are going, oh my God, can't they see this? You know, there are a lot of people that are seeing things, but we're not in the position of, of having that, that uh, power, uh, you know, I'm going to get up and put Chrissy out for a sec. And then I'm going to slither back. So I, have my, back I have my swirly chair. But yeah, so um, I'll lean down like this. <laughs> well, that's a joke. That's, these chairs are, are delicious as far as that's concerned. They're so comfortable. My back is appreciating it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, They're so no, you know, I do live. Yeah. And I do one take. Yep. So... Because I want it to be fresh and real. I don't want to have come off with some scripted presentation to you. Although I do research the material. Yeah, you do. I, I try she to capsulize it and yeah. make it, you know, more, um, you know, a little That's bit of an extemporaneous like. presentation, but right. with the background that keeps it in, in a container for us. So, yeah. yeah so I don't know. Um, you just, you use your notes as kind of, just kind of a guide, kind of a guideline of, you know, the points we'd like to hit but other than but that, i do like to get the camera usually a little better but i was yeah. focusing on crystal and i wanted yeah. her in the camera so Which i think i think she so, needed i think she just needed a potty break well yeah so anyway yeah talk about for chakra <laughs> boots 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 potty breaks yeah. <laughs> so same basically you know so yeah the um you know the, the 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 story of the boots being pretty much in the caves at that time i thought well that's interesting so yeah you know we realized that you know having sturdy something on our feet was definitely going to uh, make it uh better for us yes so as we started to find garments and we made garments and we realized you know covering the feet and it became very very now we use you know, foot fashion and foot comfort and yeah. and uh, all about the foot. But you know, I I wanted to talk but, about but this. even the basis was just it was protecting. It was, you know, it was for protection of your feet. Yeah, I mean, you have to take care of your feet. You do. You do. Your feet are really important. And you know, as you get older, a lot of times people can't take care of their feet anymore, and that's when it starts to get a little dangerous because you can't cut your nails and you can't take care of your feet. Yeah, that's not cool. No, it's you not. want to be able to take care of your feet. Um, so start taking care of your feet. I would say as soon as you can start taking care of your feet, you know, take care of them. That's the, 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 the critter at the door. Yeah, um, so, yeah, so I wanted to talk about Adams a little bit. As I mentioned to you, Joan, you know, that the, the, uh, the Adam. I, I don't let her you know. <laughs> And uh, there we go. There we go. She's back in. The Adam is like, um, this is real life for you, because I figured you'd enjoy a little bit. For the dog lovers, not everybody is the dog lover, you know. So. But uh, this Joan has a lot of uh, people that are in her world that are the dog people. So. But, you know, I see Joan's kind of not sure what to do. So. I'm controlling no. the situation. So well, the atom is um, she, she the atom is, is fine. Yes. The atom is this kind of concept of um, the self, you know, the, the little part of life. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was thinking Adam, the atom, the atom, and Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam, Adam and Adam. 
the first part of life, Adam, uh, you know, and it's this, and it's this, um, and it's this kind of sense of, uh, of, um, uh, you know, the, the proton, the neutron, and the electrons, right? So you go, okay, you know, how does that all work? And how, how, how did that create one creates more? Yeah. And sends messages. And every single one is the same size. It, depending upon if it has, it said like zero or uh -huh. 800 electrons in it. And I thought, isn't that interesting that, you know, molecules are composed of atoms joined by chemical bonds that are more difficult to break. And every atom consists of smaller particles, the electrons, the surrounding ones. Yep. The nuclei, which is the center, which has the proton and the neutron. So it's defined as a number of units, positive charged protons in the nucleus. All atoms are about the same size. Interesting, regardless of whether it has three or 90 electrons. So I thought, that is interesting, right? Yes. So, you know, here's this force of life. It determines how one atom, the electron, interacts with another. And the number of protons in the nucleus determine the chemical properties of the atom. So where this very interesting chemical composition, I don't know if I can get this close, but I'm going to try, that looks like I'm moving a little slow, folks, because I had that, you know, sore back stuff. Like, you know, crazy, see? Like this moving force where everything, you see? Yeah, yeah, you can see now. See that, is that not cool? That's the beginning of a, of a life form, right? So wild, right? Yes. And, uh, down on the floor because it's probably the best place for me to be yeah. right now. So, you know, the atom, atom of atom, the atom and the molecules and the atom, and I thought, well, look at that. You know, we are, the atom is the basic building block, right? Yep. So we are composed of all of this in us, moving around all the time. And we don't think, we don't think twice about taking a pill that's going to change anything in our chemical composition of Be who nice we are. Too. Okay. We don't think about it. We just do it. But I think as we're evolving as a as a as a human race, we're changing our our probably our biochemistry. Even. Very likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and we'll change how we look yeah. since the beginning of time. Yep. And, uh, you know, uh, our heights, we, our weights and different places of the world, we have different heights and weights. And, you know, and even we all look body, a little different. Yeah. Even different body structures. We di eat different foods. Yep. And that changes the bio critters within the body because different foods are going to promote different yeah it's, and then you realize you know oh you know you think you're eating uh, well but then you realize oh maybe i had too much of a purine rich diet yeah. and yeah. but what does that mean well that could just be you know too much of a cauliflower <laughs> like really you would well, never think that but being but because good. what we've done in terms of how we're handling this alternative food thing, yeah. it's like we'll we'll puree the chickpeas and then eat you know an exorbitant amount, way beyond what the body is actually designed to process. Yeah, because it's like oh well we can have as much as we want because it's not bad for us. I'm just saying you know it happens. Yeah, you know yeah. Or I'm going to have cauliflower, except, you know, you're eating so much cauliflower, and body's like, uh, like, enough with the cauliflower, yeah, no. you know. Yeah. 
So balancing Crystal. with that and the food and chakra one, you know, and our survival, like sleep in chakra seven area, uh, food in chakra one is really important. And being really conscious about the food. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's something that we have to be very conscious of. Regardless. But, but it's impossible. It. It's yeah. impossible almost yeah. in this culture. You're right. The way that it's been set up, it really, I mean, they're talking about everybody having vaccines and everything to be yeah. healthy, but then they're giving everybody sugar and this really bad food, yeah. which doesn't promote in any kind of way any form of healthy immune system or any form of healthy atoms within the body or messaging within the yeah. nervous system. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, gonna... and we have a culture that's become pill dependent. Yeah. They don't go to the doctor for, you know, counsel on how to, you know, go work out. They go to the doctor for a pill. Yeah. This hurts. Give me a pill. I need to get back to what I was doing. I don't want to deal with it. Give me a pill. Okay. So I don't know about that part, you know, yeah. as, a, as a human race, if we're going to be able to keep doing that. Yeah. You know, when when the body is stopping us, it's stopping us for a for reason. reason yeah. When the spirit is stopping us and saying, don't go through that door. That's not a good door to go through. Okay. Maybe we and should, you know, you maybe know we should stop door. and listen. Well, yeah, maybe. But, yeah. I would say yes, indeed. Yeah. One, one right. probably should listen to the spirit within. But a lot, if you're not in touch with it, you're not going to hear it. No. Only those who are in touch with spirit will hear it. That's true. That's true. Those who have the ears to hear will hear. If you don't have the ears, you're not going to hear. So, you know, it's uh, there's a certain responsibility, I think, that we have. And I think everyone has the ability to hear. But what happens is, just like I was telling you um, about the, um, the messaging in the back of the body, what happens is, just like anything, after a period of time, if you let that messaging keep going, okay, you let that messaging keep going, you don't heal it. You just take a uh, Motrin, okay? And uh, that's going to make it better because it takes the inflammation down. You don't feel it anymore, so it's better, right? It's not, but you've re-injured it probably. It's not going to heal. And now that message that keeps going up and down the body is like a ground-in record. So even when, say, for example, you know, the doctor's like, wow, man, what's going on? This should be fixed by now. It's been eight months or nine months or two years. And you're like, no, oh, I still feel this burning down my back, right? That programmed message has become ingrained in. And it has to be rewired. That's why they say the first thing when you have a back issue, change your uh, behavior immediately. So if you're doing a certain thing like sitting at a desk, you have to stand now at a desk. You have to make major changes because that changes the pattern of messaging. It gets into a, a it gets into a, like a vortex of, of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So when we're covering stuff up with painkillers and anti-inflammatories, we're not doing service really to the further of the healing. We're just making it tolerable so that we can still keep doing what we want to do. And then ultimately, you know, re-injured or other types of things show up. Yeah. So it's a pattern. Yeah. You know, like simplistically put if a dog breaks its foot. And and it and, and you wear put a cast. And then the dog's hobbling, hobbling, hobbling. It's like, why is the dog still hobbling? Put a cast on the other leg. The dog hobbles on the other leg. It's like program where there's the cast, I should hobble <laughs> or something. Ask a vet. Yeah. They'll, they'll say, yeah, that's one of these phenomenons. Yeah. Or um, someone who has lost a body part. They have phantom, phantom pain. pain. Yeah. The messaging is still wiring up, even though it may not even be there anymore. And yeah. So it's yeah. taking care of that whole part of who we are is so very important for our ultimate vital life health. And when we can take time to stop and just spend some time with ourselves, you know, being uh, kind of self-care and self-love oriented, 
we allow space for our body cells and the proprioceptors that take the messaging of what we say. That's why affirmative speaking, especially if you were raised in an environment that just constantly brought you down or you've been living with a person who constantly brings you down, affirmative speaking to oneself is going to reprogram the brain to hear a different message. Um, and we're responsible ha for really having to do that. And that's why we use affirmative, you know, post-its or whatever is going to work for you. Um, you know, or you would have a certain bracelet on that has a word on it or whatever is going to work for you. You have to find what works for you. Right. And once you find what works for you, you feel like so much better, don't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, don't try to find what works for somebody else. You can look to somebody else for some ideas. You know, and they always say, you know, go to mentors and find ideas and get, and indeed do do that, but find your own sweet Goldilocks zone, you know, you deserve it. Yeah. And, you sure. know, no matter where you are in life, um, you deserve it, you know, and, uh, and especially right now, uh, you know, everyone is so overstressed and everyone has felt this time. So taking the time to self-love and self-care, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and then when you fill your cup up, you have some that you can share. And you never know when you're entertaining an angel, you That's know? True. So, That's true. you know, God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. God sees all things, knows all things. You know, God doesn't miss a trick. Yeah. Never missed a trick, you know? And uh, so when you're ever feeling alone, there's always God. And... Uh, and God will never say anything, or spirit, whatever God is, you know, source, is never going to say anything that's going to make you feel bad about who you are, because you've been divinely created, so you need to right. you. Yeah. All right, I guess that's it. So that's the end of this one for, for now. We'll be coming back again, you know, next yeah. uh, show. Next show. And we will... I'll have the camera set up so I'm, I'm not necessarily, but you get everybody. You got Chrissy, yeah, yeah. and you got Ruby, and here I am. Yeah. We had a little bit of an active By show the fire. here. We had a little active show here today. <laughs> Certainly. Um, Thank she, you, Crystal, for she it. Always, yeah. She always keeps us busy. She does. She's a good girl. I love her. So do I. Uh, so, you know, and uh, she's such a beauty. Love you. Take care of yourself, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Blessings.